Hey guys, it's Saria. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a Christmas tag video. I was tagged by Heather, the Disney housewife. This is just a few Christmas questions that I'm going to answer for you guys. And please leave your answers for me in the comment section below. I love tag videos because I feel like it's such a good opportunity for me to get to know you guys so much better. And uh, I'm just excited. So let's jump into the questions. By the way, I will have Heather's video of her doing this tag linked in the description box below, so make sure you go check that out after you are done watching mine. Okay, so question number one, when do you start getting excited about Christmas? So I'm not going to lie to you guys, I feel like I start getting excited for Christmas really early, like second week in October. <laughs> um, like this year, I did a lot of videos for Halloween and I actually had a couple extras that never even got posted just because I had so many um, and I loved it. I loved Halloween. I loved prepping for Halloween but I spent like August and September doing that so then I felt like once October hit I was like done with Halloween. Like I was like oh Halloween's over. Pretty much once I filmed and uploaded my boot ball video if you guys don't know what I'm talking about I was a part of this really big gift exchange in October organized by Bath of the Collectioneers Club. 31 YouTubers swapped boxes for Halloween. I will have that video linked in the description box below. But basically once my boot ball video went up, I was like, Halloween time. It's Christmas time. Number two, do you still have an advent calendar? I do. It is not my advent calendar. It's actually my daughter's advent calendar and I actually made it for her. Um, I will link my tutorial in the description box below. I know it's way too late for one right now but if you guys are just interested in seeing how we how I did it um it's really really cute I'm actually going to insert a clip of it now it's like Mickey head shaped and it has these little cylindrical containers and inside of the containers I put a bunch of Disney doorbells that I turned into ornaments for her I do show you how I turned the doorbells into ornaments in the tutorial um this was one of my favorite things that I made this holiday I still love it it works really well Cal is actually the one who takes the lids on and off I don't have to do it for her or anything like that and it's just fun it literally she looks forward to it every single morning and I'm not gonna lie it really helped get her out of bed for school in the morning number three what are your favorite Christmas films all of them <laughs> I love Christmas movies like I I love Christmas movies um, my number one favorite I've said it probably 15 times throughout vlogmas is The Grinch Thanks, Erica. So, The Grinch is my absolute favorite Christmas movie, specifically the live action one with Jim Carrey. I do love all of them though. I love the original cartoon and I loved the updated cartoon that they did uh, last year. I can't remember. Um, but I love all the Grinch. All the Grinch. Um, Elf. <laughs> I love Elf. I love Elf. Um, I love Noel on Disney Plus. It was very uh, reminiscent of Elf to me. I just really, really enjoyed it. I thought it was hilarious and cute, and all the Christmas feels and vibes. It was so great. Um, and then I love, I love the Santa Claus. Um, the first one mostly. The second and third are cute, but the first one's the original and it's the best one. And Tim Allen is hilarious. So yes, I love that movie. And then I also love Home Alone. Um, again, just a, like a hysterical, but also like just kind of gives you the warm vibes when they're needed. Um, I mean, honestly, guys, I love them. But those are probably my top ones, like the ones that. Oh, and a Christmas Carol for a very long time. A Christmas Carol. All, pretty much all versions of it. I just, I love them. I love the Flintstones one, the Muppets one. Uh, the only one that I don't like is the um, CGI one with Jim Carrey, ironically. Um, I hated that one, and I know that it's the most accurate to the book, but it's just too dark for me. Like, I want happy, happy, joy, joy during Christmas. So, my typical Christmas day has actually changed from year to year, and it's probably from having kids. Um, my biggest thing and the one thing that I require is that Christmas morning is at our house um, with my girls and letting them open their presents. I do not want to have Christmas morning anywhere else unless we're baby's wake. Okay, sorry about that. Mom life. Um, the only tradition for Christmas, for Christmas day is that Christmas morning, unless we're on vacation, specifically at Disney. Um, now, unless we're on vacation, Christmas morning will be at our house because I want my girls to have that experience of waking up and coming downstairs and seeing that Santa came and, um, you know, checking their stockings and all that stuff. 
So typically for Christmas dinner, Derek does make it, and um, he last couple years has smoked a turkey, and it is. It is like beyond delicious. Like I, I don't really like turkey all that much. I feel like oven turkeys are always really dry and a lot of the time they're not very flavorful. But um, my husband's smoked turkey is like life-changingly delicious. And the past couple years I actually have made him make his, uh, he makes like a baked macaroni and cheese from scratch and it is in case you guys haven't picked up, I'm not the cook. I'm not the cook. My husband is the cook. Um, and everything he makes is delicious. So basically, Christmas dinner tradition is that my husband makes it like every dinner. Do I have any Christmas traditions? So I have a lot, um, actually. And me and Derek were very, very dedicated to the concept of creating traditions for our girls. Um, but we also have our own traditions. Uh, every year, me and my husband have decorated each other in our stockings, and we have a lot. They literally like line the entire upstairs because we have so many. Um, yeah, we just have those cheap little dollar felt stockings, and we have decorated them. He decorates one for me, and I decorate one for him. And um, then usually we've I've decorated cows, uh, but this year I think we're letting Cal decorate her own, and then I'll probably decorate Nayland's. <laughs> Which are your favorite Christmas songs? I love Christmas songs. Uh, my favorite Christmas song of all time is Mary Did You Know, and it actually was before the Pentatonix really did it. Um, there was an original one with a guy and a girl singing it. I don't know who they are. <laughs> but that was my favorite, like, growing up. And um, I remember when me and Derek started dating, he asked me that. Like, he was like, oh, what's your favorite Christmas song? And I was like, Mary Did You Know? And he was like, what is that? And I was like, oh. <laughs> Because it was a little bit, it wasn't very well known. But then the Pentatonics we did, and I love their version. I do really love their version. Um, and now it's like a really popular Christmas song. So that's kind of cool because I get to hear it a lot more than I used to. And then my other favorite Christmas song is the one from The Grinch. The, where are you Christmas? <laughs> where are you Christmas? I love, love that song. And it's like, it's a, Derek loves it too. It's like a song that we sing together every year as a family. And it's just, it's just tied to so many good memories and my favorite Christmas movie. So win, win, win. What is the best Christmas present you've ever received? So this is specifically Christmas. And I would say that it is, I'm actually wearing it. I wear it every day. So uh, my necklace, my necklace is, uh, this is from the first Christmas after Calla was born, and it is a Calla lily. It's from James Avery, and at its center, it has a pearl, and a pearl is actually Calla's birthstone. Um, now, June does have like three birthstones, but it's it's one of them. Um, but James Avery came out with this, and Derek found it and gave it to me, and I could not wear it more. Like, I legitimately wear it every single day, and it's a Calla lily for my Calla, and it has birthstone in it it's like it was literally made made for me um I will tell you guys he had a plan this Christmas to get me something for Daylin and Daylin's name means valley like small valley so when I was in labor we were talking about her name with the nurses and Derek said you know a cow of lily like her name is cow like a lily like the lily and Daylin's name means valley almost like the lily literally started like tearing up. I mean tearing up because my girls are everything. But um I really like that he made a connection between their two names because honestly there really wasn't one. Um we just loved the name Daylin and I don't know how to explain it to you guys other than just we felt that that was her name. Um so he's been desperately searching for a piece of jewelry that's a lily of the valley, either like a ring or a bracelet or something. And he he ended up telling me because he couldn't find it and he was he just like wanted me to know that it wasn't just on his radar like it was his mission <laughs> but it looks like it's going to be kind of expensive because we might have to get it custom made so he wasn't really comfortable just like getting that for me and spending that type of money without discussing it with me first which I do appreciate so um I don't know why but I felt like I had to tell you guys that anyway the Calibri necklace is my favorite and I'm sure that once I get my um Lily of the Valley jewelry that those two things will probably be my most treasured gifts that are like material items. Okay, the last question is a pretty quick one. Real or fake Christmas tree? 
Fake. I have only ever had fake Christmas trees. I have never in my life had a real Christmas tree. And I will tell you guys, I'm a little bit afraid of them in multiple ways. One, I have the worst allergies. I'm literally sick right now. Um, so I'm a little bit scared that like bringing something in from outside will just like make me ill. And two, I had a best friend growing up who always had a real Christmas tree. And it tipped over multiple times. And I remember one time when it tipped over, her baby ornament broke, like her glass for baby's first Christmas ornament broke. And I remember, I remember her mom being heartbroken. Like I will never forget that. So honestly, like I do feel like I have these reasons for not wanting one. Um, not just that, but like you have to like dispose of it afterward. Like you have to like throw it away. <laughs> How do you even do that? So um, I think I just like reuse it the same tree. And I will tell you guys, I got my tree for like 75% off or something at Hobby Lobby. It's beautiful. It's nine feet tall. It's uh, flocked and frosted and it has like little berries on it and acorns and stuff. And it looks, I'm, li I'm literally looking at it right now. It's just beautiful. I love it so much. A little section of lights went out on it, but we're going to get it fixed because me and Derek love that this is the tree that we've had since we got this house. And um, I kind of want it to last forever. I know it won't, but... Yeah, it, it, it's like it has some little value to me. So yes, fake Christmas tree all year, every year. If we ever decide to get a real one, it'll probably be like we have two trees. Like we have a real one and a fake one, honestly. So that does it for this tag, guys. If you are wanting to do this tag, I tag you. I tag anyone who wants to do this to join in on the holiday fun. Um, even if it's after Christmas, who cares? Christmas is the best, so it's all year long. But yeah, if you guys are wanting to do this tag, I have the questions linked in the description box below, so feel free to join in the fun. So for some reason I forgot to say bye, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video and will check out my other videos of Vlogmas if you haven't already. Please subscribe and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!